Hey there, Lick and Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which you're going to learn Ironic, the classic Alanis Morissette song. It's a beautiful song, it makes for a beautiful arrangement. I'm going to play it for you first so you can see and hear how it goes. Then we're gonna break it down. Say it with me. Note by note, lick by lick, finger position by finger position, with tabs right here on the screen as usual. It goes like this. Enjoy. So um, let me just remind you of the ongoing sale. You can join my Break Your Boundaries course program or join any other course that I have to offer you. Whether you're a beginner or an intermediate player or an advanced player looking to break some boundaries, my courses are there for you to make some guitar breakthroughs on a day-to-day -day basis. <clears throat> so check it out. All right. So... Um, Ironic. The intro begins with C major 7, and basically, I just put on 3 on the 5th string, and I play strings 1, 2, 3, and 5, so... And then you have Alanis going... So... Okay, so it's the 2nd string, and then 0, 2, 3 on the 1st string. Then you have G over D, meaning this, okay? and then she keeps singing. So I play strings four and then three, and then I play strings one and two together on five and seven. So it's G over D, okay, just bass note wise, and then the singing part, and together. And then you have 7 on the 2nd string, the open 1st, going back to C major 7. And this time I do play 2 on the 4th. And I slide into D. Okay? Let's call it D6. So... I just slide the head, okay, from 2 and 3 to 4 and 5. And I play the open third and second strings. That's the intro. And then you have the verse, which is D, G. The melody note is on the second string. Okay, so you just play the chord. 
And then you have the D bass with two, four, two, zero, hammer on double pull off. And then I do this. Okay, it's a, it's a slide into the melody note with the E minor chord. So I slide into five and four on strings two and three, and I play the E bass. And then you have D and G again, but before you play G, you play the third string. So it's D. Okay, you play the open G string and then the G bass. don't you think so it's D and E minor again but only the heads of the chords so it's two pull off to zero on the fourth and then you have four and five on four and five and then you have five and seven so it's and then you have the chorus okay it's the open E string and then three pull off to zero then you have D and then D over G. So you play the same chord, but with three on the bass. So it's... Now, D over G, okay, that's not the real name of the chord. It's just easy to memorize this way. This is G add nine. Okay, this is what you're playing. It's D and G add nine. So... And then they open second string and then D again. And you play in the second string twice. So, and then E minor, okay? The same slide to five and four. And then you do it again, two more times. And then the third time, and then you have F. You have the open E string and then F. Okay, it's one zero on F on the first string, three on the second string, and then C, okay, the open E string is your melody, and then you have the open E string and another D. And that's your chorus. So, and who would have thought, okay, it figures. And then you have the beautiful bridge. So it's C major seven again, but your C bass, you play it with your forefinger because you need five on the first string. So it's, okay, it's the chord. And then five pull off to zero and then three on the first string. And then you have the third string. And you play the third string again while you slide into the head of the D chord. Play four on the fourth and then strings three, four, five. Okay, one after the other. Zero, four, five. And then you go back to C. Okay, and it's two, 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 pull off the zero on the fourth inside a C chord. And then you pull off and then you play the D string, the A string, and two on the sixth string, okay? This is D over F sharp. And then you repeat it. C major seven, slide into D. And then C. And then D over F sharp. And surprisingly, this is the arrangement. Then you play the chorus again and you just have fun with it. You enjoy it and you download the tab for free. On the Lick and Riff website, the link is below in the description. That's the meaning of the downward pointing finger. Right, so um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you in the next lesson. Have fun and uh, check out the courses, the Lick and Riff courses while you're there after you download the tab. Scroll down and check out. There's a sale going on. So um, I'm looking forward to see you inside the Break Your Boundaries program or any other Lick and Riff course. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Have fun.